This is how I make sushi using Costco salmon. This salmon isn't sushi grade, but per the FDA guidelines, it can either be frozen or, as an exception, can be farmed like this one. Make sure to check for any pin bones. This filet was $30. We'll divide into six portions. Here's the loin, and here's the delicious belly. Now let's get everything onto the curing tray. Nice. First step, we're going to just cover with salt. Make sure to cover all sides. Next, we're going to cover with table sugar. sugar. For this portion, be generous. We're going to be washing this off, so don't worry. You can see the liquid being pulled off almost immediately. This will go in the fridge for 45 minutes. Many, many minutes later. At this point, the fish should have a firm waxy texture and all the liquid should be on the surface. We're doing a two-stage wash. First to just wash off the salt and sugar, and a second thorough wash. You want to stop the curing process here. We're almost done. Let's go ahead and towel dry these off. The color is vibrant. Let's do the same for the belly. Beautiful. These can be wrapped in paper towel and frozen inside a Ziploc bag. It'll be good to up to one month. To one month. I saved the loin. Let's go ahead and slice this up for sashimi. Make thin, consistent slices. Let's plate it up. Beautiful. Let's have a taste. Forbidden wasabi and soy sauce. I swear, so many people get triggered by that. The original method, itadakimasu. I eat Korean style, jjamakasunida. Chogochujang. Always, just on its own with the smell test. Okay, structurally wise, it's very beautiful. The fat bands, there's no miwara, no breaking apart. But I will say, very faint fishy smell. I actually didn't notice this on the Safeway one. Yeah, that's good. Very clean tasting. I was worried about the little fishiness, but it's actually not there. So let's amp it up. We're gonna do the soy sauce wasabi. Perfect every time. Ooh, nose burn. It really goes in tune with the style of Japanese cuisine, which is you know, simplicity, pure flavors. So we're gonna do cho gochujang. Mm. More complex, more spicy flavors go with this. I think the best way to do it is honestly do it like me. Have both. Switch it up between both bites. So good. It's impossible for me to pick which one is my favorite. If you're a texture eater, I think Costco one is the way to go. Nice and firm. It's a really cheap one that had the miwara. The texture wasn't optimal, but the flavor was great. Two thumbs way up. Version four, which is the salt and sugar curing with the quality of the Costco fish is fantastic. All right. Thank you.